Today we're playing with fire. Hi witches, welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Amy. I am a witch and on this channel we talk about witchcraft, spirituality, and anything that I feel like ranting about. Um, I also do a lot of educational videos, so if you're interested in learning how to do magic or a lot of the theory behind magic, this might be the place, this might be the place for you. It might be. So I've been getting a lot of requests about elemental magic. I have a playlist that I will put somewhere because I still don't know which side of the screen is the one where the things go. Um, <laughs> a lot of you guys have been asking me for more tutorials about how to work with elemental magic. So I'm, I'm going to continue working on those. So today we're playing with fire. I have um, a candle here. I am going to assume if you're watching this video that you already have a basic understanding of the fire element. And so I am not going to explain all of the things. If you don't have a basic understanding of the fire element, please see video somewhere. Um, or just dive right in whichever floats your boat. So what we're going to be working on today is manipulating a flame. I'm just going to remind you that elemental magic is very energy based. And so even when you're dealing with the physical element, there is a lot to be said for understanding and communicating with the energy of the element. So I'm going to zoom you guys in here in a minute and do the actual practice myself. But before that, I'm going to set it up and tell you what I'm going to do. So the end goal with this practice is to be able to make the flame move or rather to ask the flame to move, to change shape, to flicker, to grow, to grow smaller. Growing is the opposite of smaller. Uh, bigger flame, smaller flame. If you're a fire element, this is something that you should, you should do. You should, you should be doing. This is the first thing that you should do and it's the same thing that you should be doing 100 years from now in my opinion. Also, if you enjoy meditating with candles, this is a good one for that as well. I'm So I'm gonna zoom you guys in so that the focus is on the candle and then we're gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, now that you guys are zoomed in, I have a lighter. I'm going to go ahead and light the candle. You can do this with any kind of candle. It can be a colored candle, a scented candle. It doesn't matter. And I'm just gonna give this the opportunity to get going. Okay, so the flame on this is already flickering a little bit. That may or may not be my focus. I think it's because of the AC. And also, I'm breathing. You wanna try to not breathe on your candle. I mean, you have to breathe, but try not to breathe directly on the candle as that will affect your results. You also don't want to like bump your table if it's easier for you to do this on the floor or somewhere that you're not going to affect the flame. That's better. This one is just doing things. You guys were asking me to do more physical demonstrations, so I don't really know how this is gonna turn out, but I am really hoping that it works on camera. And if not, I guess I just apologize ahead of time. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to center myself. I'm going to make sure that all of my chakras are awake and just that I, I'm connected to the flow of energy throughout my entire body. But then what I'm gonna focus on is, um, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can either use the energy from your hands or you could use the energy from your thoughts only. So I'm gonna demonstrate with my hands first and then I will uh, move to thoughts only. So I'm gonna make sure that my hand chakras are live wires essentially, um, that I can feel the energy coming off of them and coming out of them. And then I'm going to put my hands near the flame, not close enough that it is hot, but, but close enough, <clears throat> close enough that I can feel the warmth and I'm near the flame, but not actually feeling significant heat. 
and then I am going to use the energy, direct the energy from my hands to the flame and focus on feeding it. So when you focus on feeding the energy to the candle, uh, the flame should get bigger or flicker, get excited. You can also focus on absorbing energy from the flame itself, which should make it shrink, um, but it'll also feed your energy if you are a fire element person um, and you need fire in your life, you get energy from it. Um, you can get a real boost of energy from essentially absorbing the energy from a flame, not touching it, but the energy itself, taking the energy into your body. This is something that's really easy to do with like campfires and um, with like ritual bonfires and, and whatnot, um, because you you really can just take the full force of the energy that's around that huge flame and absorb it into your body. And um, it's a very powerful type of magic. So the second way that you can do this, if you don't work with your hands in an energy manipulation sense, um, if you are more of a <clears throat> if you want to do this more in a telepathically centered way, what you can do is um, focus on the candle itself. You can either leave your eyes open or close them. It doesn't matter. And the first thing I want you to do is focus on the flame and think about making it bigger but not just bigger. I mean, you, you can go in depth here and look inside the flame to all of the billions of um, gaseous particles and imagine them exploding, expanding, becoming a, a force unto themselves and continuing to expand and explode growing hotter. Imagine the color of the flame becoming more intense, becoming hotter, becoming more, uh, I want to say enraged, but it's not a feeling. It's not an emotion per se. It's the, the sheer raw power of the flame becoming greater and greater and more intense consuming, overwhelming, expanding. Focus on that. Then I want you to focus on heat coming away from the candle. Focus on the flame itself becoming a little less hot. It's okay if you accidentally put your candle out during this exercise by thinking it into non-existence, that's totally fine. If you find that you are advanced enough in this practice that you can lessen and also grow a candle flame with your thoughts, that is, it requires a great deal of control but also you might be able to start the flame and put it out with your thoughts. So you want to be able to have the control to not go overboard, but you also um, might be able to grow your abilities to the point where you don't necessarily have to have a lighter or you don't have to snuff the candle, um, you know, with a plate or whatever. 
So now we are focusing on taking heat away from the flame, it dissipating and becoming um, just energy in the air, just going away, just becoming smaller and smaller and a little bit less hot and a little bit less intense, um, calming down. shrinking. Okay, and now what I want you to do is I want you to focus on the flame speeding up and moving around and whipping around. You're, you're aiming for a flicker here, and if the way that you practice is with words, that is also fine. You can say grow, shrink, flicker. Um, you can also use invocations um, to start a flame and to put it out. I have a free ebook that there's a link for it below in the description that'll tell you a little bit about invocations. Um, it deals with elemental invocations as well as, um, as, well as more practical ones. I also have a book about elemental magic that is available on my website that can give you some more in-depth uh, information about elemental magic as well. Yeah, so you're basically just asking the candle flame to go crazy for you. And some of this comes down to whether or not you're a visual person. Um, you might be able to achieve these things with your eyes closed or not. You might be able to achieve these things with feelings, with thoughts. Um, it might not be a imagine the flame expanding and contracting kind of thing. It might just be like a, you know, asking the flame to grow. Um, and that is totally fine. I'm trying to include as many methods as I possibly can into each practice so that you can do what feels right for you and there still might be another way that works for you that is different than um, the ones that I'm mentioning. If you use candles to practice your fire magic and your method is different, um, tell us about it in the comments down below. Uh, do it for the algorithm, but also because I, I want to learn about your magic and I think it'll really help the other people who are here to learn about this. And that is Fire Magic 101, Manipulating a Candle Flame. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it goes well for you. Let me know what you thought and what your process is in the comments down below. I'd super appreciate it. If you want your video topics and questions to take priority, consider supporting me on Patreon. I'd appreciate it a lot. And thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Hit that bell icon so that you know when my new videos come out and I will see you all again in the next one. Have a blessed and beautiful day.